Fuck. I, I don't want to complain. Well, actually, I can't do. But I have a good reason to complain. Because the Herdmans were the worst kids in the whole history of the world. They, they lied. And they stole. They even smoked cigars. And the girls did too. And they talked dirty. And they cursed at their teachers. And they took the name of the Lord in vain. And, worst of all, they set fire to Fred Shoemaker's old broken down tool house. And, that's not all. One time someone sent the firemen 5,000 donuts, and the herdmans ate them all. And, when they didn't finish, they shoved down the front of their shirts and into their pockets. Ew. And, and one time, they wrote a really, really dirty word on the back of Naomi Waddle's favorite turtle, so she couldn't take it to the YMCA pet show. Her mother wouldn't let her. What was the word? Oh my gosh. And that's not even the worst part. They wrote it in fluorescent paint, so even when you can't see the turtle, you can still see that word. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And one time, they put tadpoles into the school drinking fountain. And Mrs. Barnes, you know her, right? She swallowed two or three of the steak, and somebody else milk no, you're drinking tadpoles! But it was too late! Did she get sick? No, I don't wait! There were six of them. Gladys, if you took my head again, I'm gonna break your scrawny little arm! Ralph? Ralph, what were you doing in my room? Do you want a black eye? Imogene? You're a crack boy! You know what? You can't catch me! No, Lorraine, Claudine, Ollie. You won't ever catch me in Oscar, but you are too slow. And Gladys. And they went through the Woodrow Wilson School like those South American fish that strip their bones clean. And they went around town the same way, I'm stealing things and tearing things up and wearing kids. So much so that it was hard to get away from them. There was only one safe place. brother, Charlie. That's what he said when the Sunday school teacher asked what was his favorite thing about church. Charlie said, no, Herdman's. And that made the teacher mad because all the other kids said nice things about, well, I don't know, God and Jesus and good feelings. But old Charlie told the real truth. No, Herdman's. Looking for this, Ralphie, too? You bet you're glad it's Why you freak out, little brat? Ah! Get her! Joseph all the time, just because his father is the minister. 
Nobody wants to be Joseph. Nobody wants to be in it. Well, Beth, what are you going to be this year? I'm always in the angel choir. Why can't Charlie be an angel choir? Because, because he can't say. say what? Well, from what I've heard in the past, that's not as serious as qualifier. You know, away in a manger to me always sounds like a closet full of mice. Oh, uh, I'm in the... Oh, but very cute mice. Hey, what do you wear in the angel choir? Bed sheets. Oh, boy, some choice. Bathroom over a bed sheet. Come on, let's go watch The Price is Right. Uh, you know, Mrs. Armstrong works really hard to give you all a lovely experience. Oh, Mom, Mrs. Armstrong just likes to run things. <laughs> They're right, of course. She directs the Christmas pageant, she runs the potluck dinner, she is chairman of that whole holiday craft fair. Uh, I think Helen Armstrong would preach the sermon if anyone would let her. <coughs> now, wait, is that George Armstrong's wife? Mm-hmm. And she can try running the hospital too since she's already down there. What? Oh, I didn't tell you. I saw George down at the CVS. He told me that his wife broke her leg earlier today. She's going to be in a boot for at least two weeks and laid up until the first of the year. The first of the year? Yeah. They're going to have to cancel Christmas. What, she's in charge of Christmas? Well, she's in charge of everything. The pageant, the dinner, the craft fair. I feel sorry for Helen. But who is going to do all those things? Yes, Edna, I'll take care of the craft fair if you'll do the potluck dinner. I don't know what in the world we'll do about the pageant. Unless, how about Grace? Christmas week. But darling, how about Grace? Ooh, how about Grace? Hello, Grace. Bob? Yeah. I have to direct the Christmas pageant. Does that mean I have to go? <laughs> Our Christmas pageant isn't what you'd call four-star entertainment. Mrs. Armstrong breaking her leg was the only unexpected thing that ever happened to it. I mean, it's always the same old Christmas story and the same old Christmas carols. And the same old Mary and Joseph? <laughs> and that's what my mother was stuck with. That and Mrs. Armstrong. I'll tell you again, Grace, how important it is to give everyone a chance. Now, here's what I do. I always start with Mary, and I tell them we must choose our Mary carefully, because Mary was the mother of Jesus. Yes, I know that, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, then I explain about Joseph, and I tell them, he was God's choice to be Jesus' father. That's how I explain that. I thought that Mr. Armstrong was in the hospital. How could you talk about the fact she's in the hospital? What do you think they do to people in the hospital? Like, when they put you to sleep? Like we did with whiskers? Not this time, buddy. Not this time. How about we're going to need salt, pepper, and oregano? And I tell them there are no small parts, only small actors. <laughs> Now, remind the angel. You gonna save some of that for the rest of us? I'm hungry. We're gonna go store my lunch in school today. Again? Buddy, how can you let her do that to day after day? How can I stop her? Wait, where's the chicken? Grace, where's the chicken? It's still in the oven. It's full. No, better. It is wrong. You need someone to pull, push the baby angels on stage. Otherwise, they get in each other's way and bend their wings. Oh, Bob could do that. And then he can keep an eye on the shepherds, too. Oh, another thing about the angel choir. <sighs> Don't let them wear lipstick. They think it's because it's a play, they should wear oh. lipstick. And oh, Helen, 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 I have to go. There's someone at my door. There's someone at my door, Helen. I'll talk to you later. They have to come in. Hello, my darling. Do you have any food? I've had a square meal in three days. <laughs> Lonely 
sitting at the table. Oh, I think it's getting very little flavor. Helen Armstrong at the hospital. Not as long as telephones are still around. She I bet if she told you, now remember, no small parts, only small actors. Yeah, and we must choose our Mary very carefully because Mary was the mother of Jesus. <laughs> and you mustn't forget about those baby angels. You need someone to push them on stage. Oh, yes, she suggested your father for that. Does that mean I have to go? <laughs> Now, Grace, don't ingest anybody's baby. Oh, she's just talking! Get a quiet A better yet, get two if you can. That way, if one turns out to be fussy, you can always switch something. You know, one year we had a baby that cried in two verses of Silent Night. Oh, they were rolling with a bad My mother didn't pay much attention to Mrs. Armstrong. She said Mrs. Armstrong was stuck in the hospital with nothing to do but think of problems, and there weren't going to be any problems. Of course, Mother didn't count on the Herdmans. And that, that was Charlie's fault. Hey, come on, Lauren, you can eat back my lunch. Sure, kid. Here. How do you know? Because it's in here. What was it? Two Twinkies. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Hey, Lorraine, you think that it's so great to steal my dessert every day. And you know what? I don't care if you steal my dessert. I'll, I'll even give you my dessert. We get all the dessert we want at Sunday school. Oh, really? What kind of dessert? All kinds. Chocolate cake, and candy bars, and cookies, and, 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 and Twinkies, and Big Wheels, and ice cream, and don't look at the minister. What? Is he crazy? No, I think he's rich. Sunday school, huh? That was the wrong thing to tell the Herdmans. And sure enough, the very next Sunday, there they were in Sunday school, just in time to hear about the Christmas pageant. What's a pageant? Oh, it's a play. Like on TV? What's it about? It's about Jesus. Everything here is. It's about Mary. Mostly it's about Mary. Who's Mary? I am. Well, probably I am. I know the part. <laughs> Here. Oh, Beverly, didn't you go out in the hall and see if anyone else is coming? I 
Absolutely, Mrs. Bradley. And by the way, I think everyone's important too. <laughs> All right, so you children are going to be our angels. So if you can remind your parents, you will need bed sheets. Sure. And uh, if you're going to be in the angel car, you'll also need a bed sheet. And if any of you have an old bathroom, What happened to Bailey? I think she went home. I think she got sick. Yeah. Did she say she was sick? She just left. All I did was, I just said, hello, Beverly. Then she just left. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, if someone can let Beverly know about the upcoming rehearsals, um, there'll be the next four Wednesdays uh, after school planned to be here for everyone. What if we get sick? We won't get sick. Oh, and Mary and Joseph must absolutely come to every rehearsal. But what if they get sick? They won't get sick either. Well, Beverly just got sick and we haven't even started yet. Oh, no, no, the Beverly got sick. Alright, um, I, what I want to do now is we're going to think about Mary. So we all know what kind of person Mary was. She was kind and, and sweet and gentle. And, and so the girl who plays that part should try to be that, that kind of person. So, who would like to volunteer for Mary? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, Imogene, yes, do you have a question? No, I want to be Mary. And Rob over here, he wants to be Joseph. Yeah, right. Oh, well, well, I I'm just going to make a list of all the volunteers, and then we'll all decide together who it should be. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph Herdman. Who else would like to volunteer for Joseph? Elmer! Elmer! Did I see you raise your hand? Oh, no! Oh, uh, well, uh, just raise your hand then. Do any of you volunteers? Any of you shepherds? No! Oh, Alright. Uh, Ralph Herdman will be our Joseph. Whoa! And Imogene Herdman has volunteered to be Mary. I'll just write that down. Who else would like to be Mary? She wouldn't do that. She would too. Herman will do anything. 
You just want us to do something terrible. They ruin the whole Christmas pageant, and it's all your mother's fault. Alice, 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 come on. Alice, Alice, come on. Jane and McCarthy, did you hear about the... the... Oh, oh, well, it must be Grace's fault somehow. How else could the six of them end up in the Christmas pageant when they ought to be in jail? Vera, Irma Slocum, I just heard that Imogene Herdman is going to be married in the Christmas pageant and a... Oh, is that a fact? All six of them! Vera, I live next door to that outfit, and I'd rather live next door to a zoo! Has Grace gone crazy? Well, how did they get there? Who let them in? Imogene Herdman! Oh, what kind of a child is that to be married, the mother of Jesus? Oh, where was Reverend Hopkins? I'd like to know. He, he was what? Oh, visiting shut-ins. Well, I'm a shut-in. He wasn't visiting me. I oh, said, what was that? Oh, 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 what was that? If I had not been about this, never would have happened. <laughs> if I had been up and about, this never would have happened. Now, let me tell you. Don't tell me. I'm on your side. Cards over here. You know, Helen Armstrong's not the only woman in the life who could run a Christmas pageant. I made up my mind to just do the best I could under the circumstances. Now I am going to make this the best Christmas pageant we have ever had. I am going to do it with the Herdmans. After all, they raised their hands and nobody else did, and I don't care. Good for you, they... Grace. Good for you. <laughs> Cards over here. And you're going to help. <laughs> you have to go. Alright, so the inn is back there off stage, and when the shepherds come in, they gather around the major. Where do all the shepherds come from anyway? What's well, the inn? It's like the motel, where people go to spend the night. What people? Jesus? Uh, honestly, Jesus wasn't even born yet. Mary and Joseph weren't there? Why? It's to pay their taxes. I don't know, Joe. Shut up, Ollie! Everybody shut up! I want to hear her. Begin at the beginning. Beginning? The beginning of the play? What happens first? <laughs> Oh, well, this is the Christmas story from the Bible. Imogene, haven't you heard the Christmas story from the Bible? Well, that's what the Christmas pageant is. Okay, well, I'm going to read it to you. Come on! Believe that? That they've never heard the Christmas story before? Why not? They don't even know what the Bible is, and they've never went to church in a whole life, so your dumb brother told them we got refreshments. Now you have to waste all this time for nothing. Right now? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and Joseph went up from Galilee with Mary, his wife, being great with child. Pregnant! Mary was pregnant! We all know Mary was pregnant. I don't think it's very nice to say that and Mary was pregnant. Well, they were there. she was. I don't think Obviously, your mother she should say Mary was pregnant. And she brought it's better to say Mary's child. I'm not supposed to be talking about people being pregnant, especially in church. In church. Because there was no room for them in the inn. Oh my God! They didn't have room for Jesus? Well, nobody knew that the baby was going to be Jesus. Did Mary know? Didn't he know? What was Joseph doing that he didn't tell them? Oh, her pregnant and all. What's a major? Some kind of bed? Oh, no. Well, they didn't have a bed in the barn, so Mary had to use whatever there was. So, if you had a new baby and no bed to put the baby in, what would you do? We put Gladys in a dresser drawer. <gasps> okay. I say that? There you are. You didn't have a bed for Gladys, so you used something else. Oh, we had a bed. Only Ollie was still in it, and he wouldn't get out. You see, Ollie didn't like Gladys very much. Ollie, remember how you didn't like Gladys? Still don't. Pretty smart, Ollie, not to like Gladys right off the bat. 
uh, a manger is a large wooden feeding trough for animals. Well, kind of wadded up clothes. The what? It's it! In there! She locked them in wadded up clothes. Oh, wrapped in swaddling clothes. People used to wrap up babies very tightly in big pieces of material so they would feel cozy. You mean they tie them up and put them in a feed box? Where was the child welfare? The child welfare that are out every five minutes. There wasn't any child welfare in that house. I'll say there wasn't. And there were shepherds keeping watch over their flocks by night, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory Sit of- Sit down! What? <laughs> At the black night with horrible vengeance, the mighty Margot! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The mighty Margot, from Amazing Comics. At the black night with horrible oh, vengeance. This is the angel of the Lord who visits the shepherds. Out of nowhere, right? In the black night, right? Well, in a way... Sit down! <laughs> um, now, when Jesus was born, there came wise men from the east, bearing gifts of gold and frankincense What's that? and myrrh. What's that? Uh, they were spe they were special things, spices, and, and precious oils. Oil? What kind of a present is oil? We get better presents from the wise men, from the welfare. Weren't they the welfare? The wise men? Oh, uh... <laughs> No, they, they were, um, they were kings, and they were sent by... What's about time somebody important showed up? If they're kings, they can get the baby out of the barn and tell the innkeeper where to get off. Uh, they were sent by Herod, who was, well, he was the main king, and he was actually looking for Jesus, because he wanted to have him put to death. My God, he just got born, and they were going to kill a baby? Well, who was here in the play? Oh, Herod isn't in the play. He's out to get the baby, and he isn't even in the play? Well, somebody better be Herod. Let Charlie be here. Then he can say, go get me that baby. And they can say, okay, because he's a king and all. I'm not going to be here at all. I'm not going to be here. No one's going to be here. No, all the shepherds get together and they go, wait now, here. See, they're going to pull one in and then it's going to be me and then I'm going to get killed. Forget about here. There is no here. And then I run away with the baby till the fight's over. Yeah, and someone should fix the ink. Gladys, how about you? All she do is point her like a finger and turn into a pile of ashes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
I just wanted to let you know we're all back in the kitchen baking applesauce cake. We'll um, try not to bother you. Um, I, uh, I guess this is your dress rehearsal? Well, it's supposed to be. Oh, Edna, that, didn't I hear that your niece had a baby a few months ago, a little girl? Yes, she's five months old and just precious. Well, I wonder how it would be if I were to call her up and ask if we could borrow her baby. Oh, Grace, no. Um, um, I'm sorry, I could lie and say that the baby's sick or cranky or something, but the truth of the matter is, she's perfectly healthy and happy and beautiful, and we'd all like her to stay that way, so we're certainly not going to hand her over to Emma Jean Herdman. Sorry, Grace. Oh, 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 just grab me you have my little brother for baby. Nice. Take that, I didn't know you all had a new baby. Oh, and he's not new. He's four years old. <laughs> but he's not oh. Jordan, and he could probably screw on Oh, well, I don't think that we're going to do it. I'll get the baby. I'll get the baby. Oh, how can you do that? There's always one or two babies in strollers outside the supermarket. I'll go on that. <laughs> Five minutes, everyone. 
never did start over. We never did go through the whole thing. The five minutes turned into 15 minutes, and Emma Jean Herdman spent the whole time smoking cigars in the ladies' room. Then Mrs. McCarthy went into the ladies' room and saw all the smoke, and she called the fire department. And they came right away. Where, where are the kids? 
Every kid in the entire world is downstairs putting on the best sheet. Oh, I mean, our kids. We're here. Oh, your costumes. It's getting late. It's... It's just gonna be awful, you know? They look like trick or treat or something, all dirty and fastened together with safety pins, and wearing their moldy old sneakers. Mary and Joseph, I mean. They look like, like, refugees. Well, they were. Mary and Joseph were refugees in a way. You know, think about it. They were a long way from home. They didn't have a place to stay. They didn't know anybody. They were probably cold, hungry, tired, messy. I don't know about cold and hungry, but they're so messy. Go <laughs> get your coffee, so. Here, do you think I should go talk to I think, I think you were too much. Now, I'm going to push baby angels on the stage. Yes. Right, but, and then I'm going to take shepherd's crooks. <laughs> and then push them on stage. Mm -hmm. When do I do that? Just follow the script. Oh. Oh, angels, wise men, shepherds, gotcha. That's weird. It doesn't say anywhere about when the uh, fire engine comes in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the fire engine! <laughs> Yeah. 
Jean Kerman, and all the rest of them? Irma, I think this was the best Christmas pageant we have ever had, and I'm not sure why, but I think it was them. Could that be? Oh, I always get sappy about the pageant. I guess it's the carols and oh, the children and all, but you're right. This was the best one, and it should have been the worst. There was just something different somehow. <laughs> well, the angel of the Lord was done. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I love that. She had lots of spirit. Sometimes you can't even hear the angel of the Lord. I should go find Grace and tell her. I just wish now that I have you cheat to be the baby Jesus. Well, who was the baby Jesus? Why, it was a doll. Oh, I don't think so, Irma. That was no doll. It did seem real. It did seem real, as if it might have happened just that way. We all thought the Christmas pageant was about Jesus, but that was only part of it. It was about a new baby and his mother and father, who were in a whole lot of trouble. I mean, no money, no place to go, no doctor. Nobody they knew. And then, arriving from the East, what? My Uncle Kevin from New Jersey. Some rich friends. <laughs> Because of the Herdmans, it was a whole new story. I mean, Imogene burping the baby, and the wise men bringing such a sensible present. After all, they couldn't eat frankincense. And, I mean, Mert, what are you gonna do with Mert? You know that's getting re-gifted. <laughs> and even Gladys, he's in the barn, go see him! So, the shepherds didn't have to wander around all over the countryside. But I guess it wasn't like that for Virginia. For her, the Christmas pageant turned out to be all wonder and mystery, you know, as if, as if she had just realized what Christmas was all about. When it was over, we had a party in the basement, but her didn't stay. And they didn't have any cocoa, and they didn't walk off with all the cookies, and they wouldn't even take their candy canes. Well, that's about it. Any kids left downstairs? No, everyone's gone. You know you still have your bathrobe on. You're not going to wear it, are you? Well, sure, why not? Someone might think I was a shepherd. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if someone thought I was a shepherd from this pad. <laughs> yes, you would. Once the show was over, some lady should come up to me and hug me because I was a shepherd. It's cool. Oh, should I leave this hat? Oh, that is the Herdman's hand from their welfare basket, but they wouldn't take it back. Lorraine said, it's a present. You don't give back a present. Wait, Lorraine said that? <laughs> wow, they must hate him. I cannot believe you and Alice Wendelkin. Well, so what about the lights? Oh, they're on a timer. They'll go off at midnight. Midnight, all right. Oh, it's almost midnight now. Guys, it's almost Christmas. <gasps> oh, it's almost Christmas, kids. Almost Christmas, Charlie. <laughs> almost Christmas. And it came to pass that went out into green, and there were shepherds abiding in the fields. The multitude